fight to live. Eric has played the part since 1971. So much. I would like to say how proud I am to be included in the company of such extraordinary nominees. Really, they are wonderful actresses. Uh, time is short. I would like to thank the Academy and the Blue Ribbon Panel. Oh, I would like to thank everyone at ABC for being so supportive and for daring to do a very difficult story. We told a very sad story of child abuse and the dreadful consequences thereof. And they were very brave and, and, and wonderful to tell that story. Thank you to David Weston and Pat Philly, to Maxine Levinson and Valerie Schur. Thank you to Susan Horgan. Michael Malone and his wonderful team of writers. Thank you to our extraordinary directors, without whom I would not be here. They did so much. Thank you to an extraordinary cast and crew. In particular, thank you, Robin Strasser and Maureen Anderman. And as always, thank you to my wonderful, extraordinary family. I love you all so much. Thank you. Find out who gets the gold for outstanding daytime drama when the 23rd annual Daytime Emmy Show returns. How's your knee? It's getting stronger. You had surgery, right? Uh -huh. How's the pain? It's okay. The doctor gave me Tylenol, extra strength. Tylenol? After knee surgery? Kind of surprising. For post-surgical pain, Tylenol is recommended the most by doctors. Good workout. Great. <laughs> Pizza? Pizza. Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. If it's Saturday night, it's steak night. That's just the way it's always been. And I always use my favorite steak sauce. It's tradition. What? Yeah, sometimes I'm in the mood for something different. Something rich. Robust. Something zesty. Hearty. It's there. And it's great. Mm. A steak sauce for me? You serious? Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Mm. New A1 Thick and Hearty. Try it now at Subway on a steak and cheese sub. Nice and easy. 104. It's you. Do I know you? See, Nice and Easy works with your hair's own tones and highlights. Look at mine. Doesn't that look natural? Yeah. She's going to stop traffic. It's nice and easy to be natural. My hair was totally fried. Infusium made a difference like that. Infusium 23 leave-in treatment corrects, restores, structurizes damaged hair. After one use, hair looks healthier. It feels great. Infusium 23, the leave-in you'll believe in. This is CBS. <laughs> what makes Kaiser Permanente so different? We really want our members to get to know the doctors they choose. If Kirby needs a dermatologist, she'll see Dr. Swengel. Dr. Swengel, Kirby. If Jonah ever has trouble with his eyes, he could see Dr. Hamilton. Hey, Jonah. And since I plan to be here a long time, when Jennifer needs an obstetrician, she'll follow in her mom's footsteps and see me. <laughs> We've already met. Kaiser Permanente, different from the ground up. Let us introduce you. Here's the deal. Stop by Safeway and get a $6 off discount coupon to Marine World Africa USA. And your summer will be anything but tame. The Late Show, tonight after Eyewitness E. From the young and the restless, Shamar Moore and Victoria Rowell. Genoa City, population 46 actors, 
and yet it's a microcosm of the entire world. And at its core is a celebration of the family and how it holds together through the joys and the heartaches of life. So let's look in on Clarence and the final Best Show nominee of the evening. Fema! There you are. Oh, no, just my luck. Jill Foster Abbott, the young and the restless. I can't take any chances with her. I have been looking for you. Oh, Clarence, hand it over. Hand it over now. Don't even think about it. I promise you, you'll regret it. Threat I won't tell everyone. Blackmail. Really, Jill? Phyllis Wilma Lyon, trouble with a capital T. She'll stop at nothing to get what she wants. If Clarence gives anyone the envelope, he gives it to me, right, Clarence? You stay out of this, you tramp. Time is getting short, and I want to be prepared if that envelope says what I hope it does. If? Hope? Ha! <laughs> Why so doubtful, Jill? Drama reached a fever pitch in Genoa City this year. To me, Clarence. If he's gonna give it to anyone, it's gonna be me, right, Clarence? You lunatic, don't listen to her, Clarence. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Come back here, Clarence. I'll make it worth your while. I order you to come back you're here. You're gonna pay, Clarence! Are you deliberately defying me? Now! What a lovely way to burn! <laughs> to present our last award of the evening, we have a former daytime star who can currently be seen every week on this series, The Nanny. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very fine actor, Charles Shaughnessy. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Here are the nominees in the outstanding daytime Wait drama. I've got it. I've got it. You can't start without this. No. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Clarence, this, this is the real envelope. The, the, the accountants had it all along. What? Yeah. Then what's in this envelope? Well, search me. Julie Andrews' Tony nomination. <laughs> I'll see that she gets it. Brad Sanders, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Back to business. So, here are the nominees for the outstanding daytime drama. All My Children. Days of Our Lives. General Hospital. The Young and the Restless. And the Emmy goes to General Hospital. This is General Hospital's fourth win for Outstanding Drama. The show has been nominated 122 times in various categories since it premiered in 1963. Accepting for General Hospital is executive producer Wendy Rich. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy, hold on to this. Okay. We've had a year. Quiet, please. We've had a year of a lot of joy, and we've had a year of a lot of loss. Our blessed Lee Mathis, our blessed Rosalind Cash, and on Sunday, we lost John Berardino. John left us with a legacy of determination, a purity of spirit, and love for this genre. So as I thank the people who have made this happen for us, I want everybody to know, and Johnny, wherever you are, slugger till the end, this one is for you. You bet. I, first of all, first of all, I want to thank the members of the Academy and all of our peers for supporting us. We're very grateful. ABC for their undaunting support, 
David Weston, Pat Philly, Maxine Levinson, Barbara Bloom, Valerie Cher, Angela Shapiro, Joe Montrone. Thank you very, very much. We would not be here. Thank you. We would not be here if it wasn't for the tireless efforts of our staff and our crew, our extraordinary cast, our amazing team of directors. And we would not be here if we didn't have the written word and Claire Labine and her unbelievable team of writers. We thank you. We thank our families and our friends for putting up with our passion and our need. And I just want to say one more thing. From the words of Claire Labine, in the mouth of Mary Maid Ward, Rosalind Cash said, every single moment of our lives, whether born of joy or pain, has the potential for grace realized. Whether it's an opportunity to learn something or an unexpected connection made or finding love where you thought none existed, these are the gifts from God. We thank you very much.